I'm running these two things. Isaiah 45, 45th president. I've got to check it out. The next president is the 45th president. I go to Isaiah 45. I don't even know what it is. Isaiah 45, verse 1. Thus says the Lord that Cyrus is anointed. Cyrus. Yeah. Cyrus. Wow. His right hand I have held to subdue nations before him, to loose the loins of kings, to open doors before him, mm. so the gates will not be shut. I will go before him and make the crooked places, and I will break the wrecking ball. Oh. Oh. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze. Crack out. Who else can truck and infuriate the president, the pope, and the CEO of my world? <laughs> this is what the Lord says to his anointed, to Cyrus whose right hand I take hold of to subdue nations before him, and to strip kings of their armor, to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord. The only two nations that have ever been in a relationship with God are Israel and the United States of America. Father God, in Yeshua's name, if you bring this man into the Oval Office, I speak your blessing yes. over him for the sake yes. of your people. Yabarechecha Yahweh Bishmarecha. Ya'er Yahweh Panabe Lecha Bihunecha. Yisa Yahweh Panabe Lecha. Be'asem Lecha. Shalom. Father, for the sake of you, your glory, your kingdom, and because of your love of Donald Trump. Donald Trump, the Lord bless you and keep you. Yes. The Lord make his face shine on you yes. and be gracious yes. to you. The Lord lift you up with his countenance yes. and the Lord give you his peace. And Father, as you gave Solomon wisdom to govern your people. Yes. Father, if you exalt this man to the highest office in this land, Father, we pray for wisdom that you would be glorified and that your glory would be seen in this country. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Father, we just secure him right now by the blood of Jesus. We thank you that no weapon formed against him will be able to prosper. And any tongue that rises against him will be condemned according to the word of God. And even as we lay hands on him right now, let your hand be laid upon him. Let him have a greater encounter with you, a greater encounter with the spirit of God. That according to Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, the eyes of his understanding would be enlightened. That he may know what is the hope of the riches of the glory of the inheritance of the saints. That any veil would be removed and his eyes would be be open to see the glory and the goodness of God all the days of this life let him live well I secure him yes. I secure his children yes. I secure his calling and his mantle in Jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. president-elect Trump my friend congratulations on being elected President of the United States of America. You are a great friend of Israel. Over the years, you've expressed your support consistently, and I deeply appreciate it. I look forward to working with you to advance security, prosperity, and peace. Israel is grateful for the broad support it enjoys among the American people, and I'm confident that the two of us, working closely together, will bring the great alliance between our two countries to even greater heights. May God bless America. May God bless Israel. May God bless our enduring alliance. Right now, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that you raise up a man for such a time as this. God, we ask you right now that your choice is this choice. We believe, Lord God, that you ordain things. You said all authority is of you. Now, God, I ask that you would touch this man, Donald J. Trump. Give him the anointing to lead this nation. We thank you, God, that as a room full of clergy, a room full of leaders, a room full of business owners, Owners, mothers, wives, husbands, fathers, we ask for help and we ask you, God, to let that help be in the form of the next president, Mr. Donald J. Trump.
you together. Father God, in your precious name, your strong name. Father, I am calling, this is a clarion call, a 911 call to every believer that's watching this broadcast and every person of faith that you understand, especially after the WikiLeaks, how a Clinton administration would not be a friend to people of faith and that to the 25 million registered voters that did not vote in the last election, Father, we're calling them to come out to vote, that they may vote for Donald J. Trump to become the next president of the United States of America. This is a crucial time in our country, and I believe without a shadow of doubt that if this nation continues to raise up legislation that is pushing you out of our life, God, then I know without a doubt that this nation will not stay great as it is because this nation has been blessed by you, God. And our founders founded this nation with the ideology that we have a nation of freedom of religion. I prayed over this person and I fasted over it. And I want to just put this on my. And this is the Jewish Heritage Study Bible. And we have it especially for you. And we have one for your wife. Because when things go down, you can study the Word of God. When things seem like it's almost impossible, you will read Mark 9, 23, if thou canst believe. All things are possible. And I'm mostly grateful to our president-elect, whose leadership and vision will make America great again. So let me say, it is my high honor and distinct privilege to introduce to you the president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump.